Through the lens of the poet, he sees the world in a different perspective than all of us. It is through that lens that the visionary leader comes to life. And through the lens of the father, he sees the world with great compassion, hope, and character building. And it is through this lens that he develops great leaders. And through the lens of a knight, a true equestrian, he sees the past and future linked by a common thread of heritage and belonging. And it is through this lens that he develops and upholds great values that only accept the number one in every venue and on every stage. This is the true driver of the leader, the man, the father, the knight, challenging oneself to be the number one in comparison not to the world, but in comparison to our past selves. When all those lenses meet, we see the leadership of His Highness that elevates the beauty in all, that maps paths of great vision, that has great pride for what He does. My words can't explain the impact that horses and divine millennium has had on his life. The words of His Highness say it all in the poems, wonderful world of horses and prize and victory. I will read the words of the first poem, wonderful world of horses, but I can say as great as this translation is, it does not convey the full beauty of the language that the poem was originally written. Wonderful world of horses. Who taught the horses to call me by name? After a long absence, they come forth to greet me, welcoming and playful, happy that I came. And when I depart, they yearn for me strongly. They know my heart, their love I claim. Bright smiles they cast, they ask for me warmly. They sense my essence, the scent my hands contain, so sensitive with emotion, once thought for humans only. When I come to them, after fate's forced to frame, the stables greet me with unbridled joy loudly. It's as if they say dearest heart and proclaim, it's been long, they have longed, and I've been missed so dearly. Horses with stately ancestry, distinguished strains and secrets so secret known to those held dearly graceful like deer beauty words can't explain and the speed of the wolf suddenly upon his quarry with skin so taut and mountains of muscular frame strong head strong head strong will powerful and brawny smooth to ride and fast when they charm the reins whose fatigue they seem to get back in shape magically. I've seen them rush like gushing floods sustained with waterfalls or upon high falling swiftly. Watching them is like observing falcons hunting game, wingless yet flying against all odds suddenly. From beauty, they require beauty again and again, so wonderfully beautiful that nothing compares to them.